Ever pondered about what lies within the heart of Virginia's Blue Ridge Mountains? The answer is as intriguing as it is mysterious. Welcome to Mount Weather Emergency Operations Center. Nestled amidst the picturesque landscape, this location is more than meets the eye. It's an enigma, a fortress, a symbol of America's readiness for any eventuality. Now, Mount Weather isn't your typical mountain. It's a secretive government bunker designed with one aim in mind, to ensure continuity of government. In times of crisis, when the world as we know it seems to crumble, Mount Weather stands strong. It serves as a haven for various agencies, a safe house where strategies are formed, decisions are made, and the nation's operations continue unabated. You see, the ingenuity of Mount Weather lies not just in its solid structure, it's in the purpose it serves, the secret it guards. Its existence is a powerful reminder of America's resilience, its unyielding spirit, and its unwavering commitment to safeguard the nation's continuity. But what makes Mount Weather truly fascinating is the shroud of mystery that surrounds it. Its operations remain covert, its inner workings undisclosed. Yet its presence is undeniable, almost palpable. It's an enigma that sparks curiosity, a puzzle waiting to be solved. So as we delve deeper into the secrets of America's bunkers, we begin at Mount Weather, a place that embodies the nation's readiness to face any challenge, to withstand any crisis. It's a testament to the foresight of those who envisioned it, the architects who designed it, and the individuals who operate within its confines. In the grand scheme of things, Mount Weather is more than just a bunker in the heart of Virginia's Blue Ridge Mountains. It's a beacon of hope in times of despair, a symbol of strength in times of weakness, and a testament to the indomitable spirit of a nation. Mount Weather, a symbol of America's readiness for any eventuality. From Virginia, we traverse to Colorado Springs, home to a unique fortress. Nestled within the rugged landscape of the Rocky Mountains, the Cheyenne Mountain Complex stands as a monolith of American defense. Imagine a fortress, not constructed atop a hill or within a city, but carved into the very heart of a mountain. That's the Cheyenne Mountain Complex for you. This military installation is more than just a base. It's an engineering marvel of the Cold War era, built with one primary objective, to withstand a nuclear attack. In the mid-20th century, amidst the escalating tensions of the Cold War, the United States government decided to take a proactive approach. The result was a bunker like no other, a fortress buried deep within the Rocky Mountains. This wasn't just about creating a safe space. It was about sending a clear message to the world. America was prepared to defend itself, no matter what. The construction of the Cheyenne Mountain Complex was a feat in itself. Teams of engineers and workers toiled day and night, drilling into solid rock, creating a labyrinth of tunnels and chambers. The process was arduous, demanding, and fraught with challenges. But the result was a stronghold capable of withstanding a nuclear blast. But the Cheyenne Mountain Complex isn't just a relic of the past. It continues to play a pivotal role in America's defense strategy. It houses critical operations, including the North American Aerospace Defense Command, known as NORAD. From tracking potential airborne threats to monitoring space debris, the work conducted here is vital to national and global security. The Cheyenne Mountain Complex is more than just a bunker. It's a testament to human ingenuity and resilience in the face of potential catastrophe. It encapsulates the spirit of American defense, steadfast, resolute, and unyielding. Today, as we navigate through uncertain times, the Cheyenne Mountain Complex stands as a reminder of our capacity to confront challenges head-on, to innovate, and to build a safer future. A testament to America's military ingenuity, the Cheyenne Mountain Complex? Ever imagined a luxurious resort harboring a secret bunker? This is the tale of the Greenbrier Bunker, hidden beneath the opulence of the Greenbrier Resort in West Virginia. This resort, known for its elegance and grandeur, has a clandestine past that is as intriguing as it is unexpected. The Greenbrier Bunker was constructed during the Cold War, a time of heightened global tension and fear of nuclear warfare. Its purpose was to serve as a refuge for the United States Congress in case of a nuclear threat. 
The bunker was built in secrecy, its existence known only to a select few. This underground haven was designed to accommodate more than 1,000 people and was equipped with all the necessary amenities to sustain life for an extended period. It featured dormitories, a cafeteria, a hospital, and even a broadcast center from which the government could communicate with the outside world. But the bunker was not just a fallout shelter. It was also a symbol of the nation's resolve and preparedness in the face of potential disaster. It stood as a testament to America's commitment to preserving its democratic institutions, even in the most dire of circumstances. The Greenbrier Bunker remained a secret for more than three decades. It was declassified in the 1990s, following an expose by the Washington Post. Today, the bunker is open to the public, offering a glimpse into a chapter of American history that was once shrouded in secrecy. The Greenbrier Bunker is a relic of America's past preparedness, a stark reminder of the lengths to which the nation went to safeguard its leaders and democratic processes during a time of global uncertainty. It stands as a testament to the resilience and ingenuity of a nation prepared to face any challenge, no matter the magnitude. The Greenbrier Bunker, a relic of America's past preparedness. On the edge of Pennsylvania, a site shrouded in secrecy stands. It's known as Raven Rock Mountain Complex, or more intriguingly, Site R, nestled near Blue Ridge Summit. This mysterious location whispers tales of covert operations and national defense. Despite its almost nondescript exterior, Raven Rock is anything but ordinary. Inside the mountain, a labyrinth of tunnels and chambers stretches out, a testament to human ingenuity and the desire for preservation. It's said that these underground caverns are designed to withstand the unthinkable from nuclear attacks to natural disasters. Raven Rock's existence is no secret, but its purpose remains largely speculative. Some argue it's a nerve center for military operations, a heartbeat of strategy and coordination in times of crisis. Others suggest it's a haven for government officials, a Noah's Ark of sorts, ready to ensure the continuity of leadership should disaster strike. The government remains tight-lipped about Site R, adding an extra layer of intrigue to this mountain fortress. Despite this, some details have emerged over the years. We know, for instance, that Raven Rock was operational during the Cold War, a time when the threat of nuclear conflict loomed large. It was during this era that America sought to protect its key officials and maintain command and control capabilities, no matter the circumstances. What we can say with certainty is that Raven Rock represents a significant piece of America's national defense strategy. Its existence is a stark reminder of the lengths a nation will go to protect its people and its way of life. As we delve deeper into the mysteries of America's bunkers, Raven Rock serves as a powerful symbol. It stands as a testament to our resilience and foresight, a fortress carved into the mountainside, a beacon of security in an uncertain world. So as we leave the shadow of this mountain complex, we are left to ponder its secrets and the role it plays in safeguarding the nation. Raven Rock, America's hidden shield. Let's turn back time and revisit the roots of the nuclear age. Picture the early 1940s, a time of global conflict and rapid technological advancement. Amidst this turmoil, three sites in the United States were quietly playing a crucial role in what was to become a defining moment in human history. Site Y, known today as Los Alamos, New Mexico, was the central laboratory where the world's first atomic bomb was developed. Scientists, engineers, and military personnel worked tirelessly, their efforts shrouded in utmost secrecy. The culmination of their work was the infamous Trinity Test in July 1945, marking the birth of the nuclear age. Let's shift focus to Site X. Nestled in the verdant hills of Oak Ridge, Tennessee, this facility was responsible for the production of enriched uranium, a key ingredient in the atomic bomb. The workforce here in the thousands was largely unaware of the monumental nature of their work until the bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki revealed the devastating power of the atomic bomb. And then there was Site W, or the Hanford Site in Washington, whose reactors produced plutonium, another vital component of the bomb. In the post-war years, Hanford continued to play a significant role in nuclear weapons production during the Cold War era. These sites, each with their unique roles, 
were instrumental in the Manhattan Project, the US-led endeavor that harnessed the power of nuclear fission for military use. The impact of their work was profound and far-reaching, altering the course of warfare, international relations, and scientific research. From these humble, secretive beginnings, the nuclear age was born. The legacy of these sites continues to resonate today in our understanding of nuclear power, its potential and its peril. It's a stark reminder of humanity's capacity for innovation as well as destruction. These sites, the cradle of the nuclear age. From the remnants of World War II, we move to the heart of American defense. The Pentagon, an iconic five-sided structure, is a symbol of the United States military prowess and an essential hub of national security. Located in Arlington, Virginia, it is the largest office building in the world, housing over 23,000 military and civilian employees. Yet, beyond its intimidating exterior, the Pentagon holds secrets that go deeper than its surface, like the iceberg's hidden bulk beneath the waves. A significant part of the Pentagon's operations lie underground, away from the public eye. This architectural marvel boasts hardened underground facilities, a network of tunnels and bunkers designed to withstand the most catastrophic events imaginable. The Pentagon's subterranean world is a testament to the nation's commitment to maintaining its defense infrastructure. It is designed to serve as a secure command center during times of crisis, ensuring the seamless continuity of military operations. The underground facilities are equipped with state-of-the-art communication systems, secure meeting rooms, and other essential amenities required to run the nation's defense. The Pentagon's underground facilities also serve as a shelter during emergencies. They are designed to protect the nation's military leadership from threats such as nuclear attacks, biological warfare, and even natural disasters. These facilities are stocked with supplies and resources to sustain life for extended periods, ensuring the survival of those responsible for the nation's defense. The Pentagon's underground also houses the National Military Command Center, the nerve center for the United States military operations worldwide. From this subterranean hub, military leaders can monitor global events, make strategic decisions, and execute military operations, all while protected from potential threats. The Pentagon, with its hardened underground facilities, stands as a fortress against threats to national security. It is a remarkable testament to America's resilience and preparedness, a symbol of the nation's unwavering commitment to defend its citizens and uphold its values in the face of adversity. In Pennsylvania, a mountain safeguards America's vital records. This mountain isn't just any ordinary mountain, it's Iron Mountain, a bastion of security and preservation. It's a place where history is stored, not in the form of dusty books or fading photographs, but in secure underground vaults. Iron Mountain, much like its namesake suggests, is as steadfast and impenetrable as iron itself. Yet its purpose isn't military defense or nuclear deterrence. Instead, it serves a different kind of security, information security. It's here that the United States government entrusts some of its most critical records. Beneath the surface, the mountain holds a labyrinth of vaults, each one a fortress of knowledge. The vaults are designed to withstand natural disasters, fire, and even nuclear fallout, acting as a time capsule for the information they hold. From tax records to historical documents, the vaults of Iron Mountain play a crucial role in preserving the past for future generations. But Iron Mountain isn't just about the past, it's also about the future. The mountain is a testament to the importance of record keeping in a digital age. In a world where data can be lost with a single click or a system crash, Iron Mountain stands as a beacon of tangible physical record keeping. The significance of Iron Mountain extends beyond mere data storage. It's a symbol of the American commitment to safeguarding its history, its knowledge and its future. The mountain is more than a storage facility. It's a monument to the nation's dedication to preserving its legacy. The vaults of Iron Mountain, with their hallowed halls of knowledge, serve as a reminder of the importance of preserving our past. They stand as a testament to the fact that while we may move forward into the future, we must never forget the lessons of our history. Iron Mountain, a beacon of America's past and future. From Virginia to Colorado, these bunkers stand as silent sentinels. 
They are the guardians of America's security, an intricate network of fortresses, each with their own story to tell. Mount Weather, the Cheyenne Mountain Complex, the Greenbrier Bunker. These sites are designed to withstand the unimaginable, ensuring the continuity of government in times of crisis. Recalling the past, we remember the pivotal role of locations such as Los Alamos, Oak Ridge, and Hanford in ushering in the nuclear age. The Pentagon, a symbol of American military might, boasts hardened underground facilities, while Iron Mountain safeguards vital government records, preserving the past for future generations. Each of these sites, shrouded in mystery and intrigue, represents a chapter in America's history of preparedness. Their purpose may be veiled in secrecy, but their significance is undeniable. These bunkers, the guardians of America's security, their secrets buried deep within the earth, 